Hi, I'm Tom Russell, Senior Editor of Furniture Today, and I am here with a designer that many in the industry know, John Mascaroni. John, thank you so much for taking time to speak with us this morning. My pleasure, Tom, really, because it's been a long, a long series of years that I've done it. Yes, you were telling us uh, recently that this will be your 90th Market. Furniture market, so 1973. That's for, that's for Swaim only. That's for Swaim only. <laughs> yes. Okay, Swaim only. Okay. How long have you been coming to market overall? Uh, probably 47 years. 47 years. Yeah. Wow. Almost 48. Yes. Wow. So that's quite a uh, not something to count to say. the years that I came down here without anybody not yeah. designing for anyone. But what? the first. So the market I did was 1970. Yes. 1970. Yeah. Wow. So you've seen the industry go through many changes <laughs> over the years, obviously. Yeah, like me. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's the big? What's some of the biggest change that you've seen in your history of the with the industry? We've lost a lot of companies that I've designed for over the years. I mean, it just came on. It was strong. It was going well, and then suddenly disappeared. Mm -hmm. And the attrition was one of the major issues. But yes. the condo, and then it was consolidation that went on for so many years as yeah. well. So the independents, you know, like Swain, sort of hung on on a fringe of it. Mm -hmm. But we had a, which was better for me because I was more interested in an upscale market. Yes. Because I, coming from a designer-oriented showroom, which is what I had, I knew the designer-oriented people better than I did the retail. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And I knew that Swain was, you know, very fine manufacturer doing very high quality yes. product. Mostly the tailoring was everything. Mm -hmm. And this is what they prided themselves in. Mm -hmm. So that was an easy fit for me to be able to design for them. Yes. Not only that, but having many years manufacturing my own company, mm -hmm. you know, I was aware of the manufacturing process. Yes. Which not too many designers had the ability to experience. Yes. And that helped me tremendously because mm -hmm. it's like, yes, okay, upholstery is upholstery, I understand it. Mm -hmm. I'll learn more, mm -hmm. uh, but when it came to doing case goods and mm -hmm. occasional, then we got into mm -hmm. metal furniture, which yeah. I had been doing for myself for many years. Yeah. So that was an easy fit. Well, in summary, what is it that you most enjoyed about your experience with the industry and the market over all these years? Mostly the fact that the I've seen the changes, you know, style changes. Yes. I mean, it's amazing because when I came aboard in 1970, the Swain 73, mm -hmm. and even before that, it was an introduction via Bloomingdale's yeah. who wanted to introduce some more modern furniture. Yes. And this was the era of uh, Milo Bachman and Thierry Coggin. Yeah. When the mid century modern took hold. Yeah. So they put me on with First Founders Furniture, mm -hmm. and I did two case goods lines with them. Mm -hmm. But it was always in the modern tradition. Yes. And that's where I started with Swain at the same yeah. time. But then, you know, we went from modern, and then we got into more transitional, then traditional, mm -hmm. then we went through Art Deco. Yes. And then... It's so, evolved, in other words. Well, yes, Indeed. but the interesting thing is, and suddenly, mm -hmm. designers started discovering mid-century modern, yes. you know, you suddenly found Thierry Coggins pieces, Milo's pieces coming up on auction. Mm -hmm. Some of my pieces started wow. coming up on That's auction. That's significant, yeah. So it was like deja vu. Sure, sure. And that in reintroduced modernism a lot, yes. which is what I really embraced. That was my strength. So yeah. those transitions mm -hmm. were amazing. You know, well, it sounds like a very, very <laughs> long and storied and, and exciting well, career you've had. Fortunately, yeah. you know, I also designed I did for several years a company called Jeffco. Yes, yeah, okay. Jeff Gaynor. Very traditional. Yes. Very, very yes. traditional. But my early background was in traditional furniture. Yeah, yeah. All the early collections that I did for myself were all traditional, mm -hmm. you know, French, Italian, etc. So that vocabulary I knew. Yes. And it was easy to apply. Yes. So I was sort of a chameleon, you know? It's yeah. like, what do you want? I can do it. That's great. Well, the industry has been served with by you very well over the years, it sounds like, and I thank you so much for taking time to share a little bit of that with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, John. Thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. We'll have a good rest of the market. Thank you. Thank you.